It is your girl Karina and in this video I want to share with you the three placements plus a bonus placement of what are the parts of a male's chart right that would show the kind of woman that he would be interested in okay uh, just as a disclaimer I want to give you the freedom if you have a gender fluid identity if you choose to see yourself as more of a masculine energy then this may apply to you as well so let's talk about this so that you can now dive into looking at charts and be able to look for these placements okay so the first placement is going to be the moon placement the moon is such an important place in a man's chart because it gives off the relationship to the mother. It also identifies for us and signifies what are the maternal instincts of this man's, right, soon to be mother of his children. What are the maternal instincts that he will be looking for? And you'll find that within the moon placement, okay? So that's a really interesting thing to understand about the moon is that it, it is very connected to the mother how he was raised in life what were the values and morals that he grew up with or that he learned from his mother and how that actually translates into the kind of woman that he's looking to be the mother of his own child okay now this may not necessarily mean that this woman has this exact placement in the chart let's for instance if the man has a moon in aquarius maybe you're not saying oh you're, you feel defeated because you don't have a moon in aquarius or the, if you're a, a man watching this and you're like oh well my wife doesn't have a moon in aquarius i'm doomed that's not necessarily the case but it's more of the energetic impression and interpretation of that placement so for example a moon in aquarius is going to be a very friend like energy and so maybe he's looking for a wife right or a mother of his child that is going to express a lot of friendship with their children and kind of um you know be a paternal be a authority in their in their life but also have some sort of friendship aesthetic that goes along with that okay so that's one example so the moon placement is going to be really important because within the moon placement we can see what kind of nourishment is this man looking to have within the mother of his children okay now the second level right the second aspect that we look at in a man's chart as to what kind of woman is he interested in is venus clearly because venus is a planet of material possessions it's it's all about external pleasures okay and because of that venus is going to be the kind of woman that he is very attracted to so the way that she dresses would be based off of the Venus placement. And so he's going to be looking for a woman that kind of dresses and has a confidence like his Venus placement. For example, if the Venus is in Aries, Aries is a very hot sign, right? Because it's cardinal, so it's the beginning of the season. So it's a very initiating and take charge energy. And the aesthetic and the beauty of Aries is going to be very sexy right um, very tight clothes a lot of skin showing so this is going to be the kind of woman that he is really attracted to okay now you might feel like that's very cliche but it's actually not because for example if the man has a Venus in Virgo in his chart he actually might be more attracted to a woman who is more modest in her clothing okay because Virgo is actually a sign of covering up and being more humble and so what you might find is that that is what he finds seductive is someone who's more modest who doesn't show as much skin maybe who likes really high quality materials but is also very frugal right so the venus placement is going to show the kind of woman that he values right as long as well as her beauty and her aesthetic and the kind of energy that she protrudes out in confidence and so that is going to be the venus placement of what a man is looking for in a woman now the next placement is actually a pretty uh 
controversial placement, okay? It's called Lilith. Now, Lilith is not necessarily a planet, okay? Lilith is a, considered a dark side of the moon or point in the sky. So it's not an actual physical, it's not an actual physical planet. However, there is an actual uh, asteroid named Lilith. So it depends on how you want to look at this. And we can dive deeper into this in the more advanced section of the course. But I just wanted to explain to you that in a man's chart, Lilith plays a role of the woman that can kind of cripple his own like life. Basically, Lilith is a part of the man in his deep subconscious that brings out the darkest and deepest urges that he might have. And this can kind of be a little dangerous. So it's not necessarily something that we want to put too much focus on and saying, okay, well, these are the energies that I want to embody. But if you do have that kind of relationship, a relationship where you want to go a little bit deeper, go into the more taboo areas of the subconscious of a man, then you would look at Loth because this is the energy that really just makes him weak in the knees on so many levels, spiritual, soulful, and um, sensual and sexual as well. Okay. And you want to be careful because this energy is also pretty chaotic and um, it's not to be taken lightly. Okay. But I did want to share with you that the Lilith energy is actually a popularly known placement of in a man's chart of what he would be finding seductive in a woman. Okay. So we've discussed the moon, Venus, and we've discussed Lilith, okay? So we've got these three placements that give us a significant idea of what kind of woman would really make this guy go crazy. The last part that I feel is a bonus because it's not as as popularly known amongst astrologers. So now we're talking more into my um you know, personal experience in looking at charts. And what I have found is that Neptune is a very powerful planet in a man's chart that can tell you the kind of fantasy woman that he wants, or at least the kind of fantasies that he is looking to have. Wow. So Neptune is a far off planet. It's also this concept of fantasy. And it's this concept of glamorizing and putting things on a pedestal. So if you want to take a bonus and try this, experiment with this, go and look at the Neptune placement in the man's chart that you're looking at, or if you are a male watching this, go look at the Neptune placement and look at the um, zodiac sign that it's in, and then see if there is some sort of correlation that you can make with it. For instance, you might find that he really likes celebrities that embody this energy. So maybe there's a lot of celebrities that have a sun, moon, or Venus, or Lilith placement in that Neptune zodiac sign, or they may just embody it. Like maybe they're very, you know, they have that energy. For example, if he has Neptune in Capricorn, then maybe he likes celebrities that are CEOs of their, you know, work and they take charge and they're kind of like the conductor of everything and the authority of everything in their workspace. And maybe they're very highly career women, even though they may not have Capricorn as a moon or a Venus sign, but they might embody that energy somewhere. So that is a lovely interpretation of, of Neptune and it's up to you to go and experiment. So go ahead and take this information and run with it. And I hope that you guys enjoy this video and watch it again so that you can be able to exercise your mind on the differences between the moon, Venus, Lilith, and Neptune and how that can work in a male's chart. See you in the next video.